And for the last of our simple controls, we're going to look at UI Image View. Another project, Explore UI Image View. Put it in the right place. And before we begin doing the code and looking at our nib file, let's go grab the images from our images folder. So we have something to work with. All right, now we'll open up our nib file. Now, I'm going to come down here and pick up a UI image view. And by default, you can see it tries to like scale up to the whole entire size of the view. We don't want to do that, so I'm going to drop it here and shrink it back down again. So essentially, UI image view will show an image. And you can have two different images, one image for your default state and one for highlighted. For example, we can pick black horse for the default and red horse for the highlighted state. And as the control switches back and forth between regular and highlighted, you can see that we switch from the red horse to the black horse. There's a whole bunch of different modes here. For example, scale to fill, you can see it actually took the horse and blew it up to fill the entire space. If we say aspect fit, it will scale it, but it will keep the proper aspect ratio of the original image. If we say center, it uses the original size of the image and puts it in the middle of the UI image view. And similarly, bottom, top, left, right, and so forth. As we saw with buttons and other things, you can adjust the alpha, which makes the image somewhat transparent. And you can also change the background. So pretty much, as we saw before, you can load an image from a file and put it into an image view. And you can change the state of the image view, whether it's regular or highlighted, in order to change that. But an image view is not a button, as it is in some other systems. On iOS, an image view is strictly for displaying images. So therefore, if you wanted something like a button that had an image, you want to use UI button and use the custom setting and put in the images that you want there. And that's it for a UI image view. You're going to use it a lot, but it's a very, very simple thing with a lot of power by just simply putting images in there and then adjusting them programmatically as your app is running.